A good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Thomas. This is Tenodis to Human, and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War. You join me as the Mongols have invaded. We are turn 68 now. I think it was uh, about 36 ish when I last saw you. And in that time, well, not a lot has really changed, to be honest. My money hasn't actually got that good. You can see I'm spending it all. Got a lot of cities to spend it on, and a lot of cities that were very underdeveloped. So, we have ourselves here an invasion in the Yerevan region. They just arrived just south of the Caucasus Mountains. So, there are a few forces coming from this direction over down south at this point. Chances are they might have a poke at these two, but whilst they might go for Constantinople, or Tomstantinople, they're quite likely to come down towards Mosul too. And actually, luckily for me, I have a huge amount of armies arriving in this region down here. So, these lads, for example, aha, Godred Thodberg, the man himself from Genoa in that last battle, the old Danes over here. Uh, there's some brutal chaps over here. Yes, these lads are going to go and defend the bridge. Actually, I might move these lads to the next bridge along this one over here. But either way, I need to go and block up these bridges. We will, of course, have some more armies up here. At the moment, it's just two. And these are the two, just to refresh you at the start, these are the ones, I think, that don't have the experience. Yes, these are not experienced ones. And these are the leaders who aren't full of chivalry or dread. The ones that come up very soon afterwards are going to be like 10 dread. So these are the ones you want to kill these guys off nice and quick. So, force number one. I don't really have anything too elite, to be honest, because whilst you might think it's ridiculous I haven't actually got my forces completely set yet, um, 30 turns, 30, it takes a long time to get across the map. And a lot of these cities, a lot of these castles couldn't do an awful lot for me. Somewhere like Toledo, for example, I've got some feudal knights out of there somewhere. Toulouse here, I've been getting some Ginote out there somewhere on the map. Uh, up at Cannes over here, this, oh, this sadly has just turned French. This was actually getting me my longbowmen. I'm not actually sure I can get longbowmen anywhere anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might be able to Carnarvon eventually. But um, no, no more longbowmen, which is a real shame because they have the stakes, which are going to be very useful. Metz has done nothing for me. Where else produces me things? Innsbruck will get me some armoured sergeants. That's the kind of best spearmen I can kind of get at the moment. These cities can be quite useful. Genoa gets me some spear militia. Uh, Venice gets me Pazi Pavis crossbowmen, as does the Ro does as Rome. And these are pretty good ones. Long range missiles. So we kind of have a selection around the map of different units that have been sent through. Trezebond archers, Byzantine cab from Ragusa. Corinth and indeed Tbilisi over here. Although, oh, that's not a good. Oh, that's not a good sign at all. Uh, that looks like that's been stacked up for a while. Yes, this is flipped to Turkish rather than Byzantine. That's unfortunate. Turkish archers are still good in fairness. I think the Trebizond are just slightly superior. Nine nine seven. Or is this actually better? No. Oh, okay, okay. Slightly more defence, but not quite as good on the actual attack front. Well. Probably rather the Byzantines, but there we are. Can't do much about that. Tbilisi has now flipped a Turk. So a bit like on the Rome campaign, if you've watched the uh, little guide video for Rome. Uh, yes, we're having the weird culture flips going on again, and we can't really control that. So this chap over here. This chap over here. This guy. <laughs> this man over here. Oxin, o Oxinta. Oxinta over here. Full command. He's never actually been in battle, by the way. Um, he's just walked over here, and he's been getting himself ready. Eight dread. Now, each of those dread points is lower morale for the opposing army. He's got himself. Does he have anything? I swear this guy had some stuff that was good um, for morale in battle because he's very good for minus morale for them. Yes, it's Venom! I love this! Not only swears and curses regularly, but he does have a frightening force and conviction. Plus two dread, minus four piety, minus one loyalty, minus one authority, plus. Three for morale of my troops. So minus for them of oh, eight there, but plus three there. Um, healthy Gregarious is plus one as well. He has extra hit points. Night fighter, uh, mere money. This guy is currently plus what? Plus four for morale. Um, extra two hit points. Are any of these others for, good for extra hit points? Uh, da, 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 da. No, I don't think so. Unfortunately, he does have slothful, which is really, really unfortunate. He likes to. He doesn't. Yeah. 
Not the, that one isn't the best, but in all fairness, he's got himself some very useful traits when it comes to morale. So, he's the leader of my army here. We have some other lads here. Uh, a couple who are like brave or marks of war. Things like that, and noble in battle. la di da di da Just some extra cav who uh, obviously got the extra points would be very useful. These are basic Byzantine spearmen. Unfortunately, haven't got to Yerevan for their upgrade yet at Yerevan. Uh, they are getting armourers out, which will only help some of my troops. I think it will help my Mamelukes who are in this army over here. Anyway, we've got the Longbowmen. The Longbowmen have come from Can um, over all the way in Northern France, one of our English, well, formerly English culture settlements. These guys are important because of the sharpened stakes. They're going to be an important weapon for us to block our line. Then we've got some spearmen too. Um, to be honest with you, we've got some Mamelik archers here who have equally the heavy mail coming from the armour here will help. But yes, equally, there's not a huge amount this army can do. You know, we've got charging with the Armenian cavalry to help take out their infantry. But we're just hoping that the bulk of leaders here is going to help. I often find one thing I struggle with when I face the Mongols it's just their cav is too overwhelming. We are actually going to go fight them in the field. We are going to fight Come them in the field. Here, Only these early ones, though. The rest, we're going to try and fight in bridges or in our castles. So this line of Tbilisi, Yerevan, Mosul, Baghdad is for us to hold. Now, they're not as big as I'd like. If I was playing as Turkey, I would have these early on. I would be able to build them up. I've only been building them up for about 30 turns when I've had money. So they're not perfect. Mosul's just getting a fortress upgrade now, so hopefully we'll get an armour out after that. It means that we... Oh, we have Turkomans. We might get something better. I haven't actually had a Turkish fortress yet. Um, I'll say that to Blisi. No, it's still just a castle. So there we are. Yes, yeah, so we have a few places we can plug, because they will tend to, from this position, they will tend to come across either along down to Antioch, along across to Constantinople, or down here first towards Mosul and Baghdad. They should have some reinforcements coming through some more of these passes, like over here. This force might find itself smashed into very soon. So I might be... Um, yeah, well, we'll see what reinforcements get over here. But essentially, that's the plan. We're just going to mobilise our forces, because I have a lot of boats coming. I have a big army here. Spartacus himself, yes! We need Spartacus, the great hero. The great hero took all of France and uh, helped finish with El Cid off the job in Iberia. El Cid, of course, was a little bit old. He passed away. He spent his last years in Lisbon. He had a lovely, wonderful time. And he left the city to be ruled in anarchy, as you would expect him to. But Lisbon is obviously a nice place to have ended up. I think he, like, he deserved that. Best of the Iberian cities. Anyway, moving on. Um, we have them here, but we have another yes. army over here. Just a few men coming across. Um, again, more men coming across. More men coming across. And more men coming across. And yet more. And yet more. So we have quite a few troops coming. These spear will be helpful when we're trying to hold castles, as with the armoured sergeants. And obviously, there are just all sorts of troops who are just left over from earlier battles and wars. I probably could have got those sent over quicker, but you know what, sod. And the heretics are done where they're going. Let's send them to Jerusalem. That feels fitting somehow, doesn't it? Yeah, send it over here to Jerusalem. Perfect. Okay, um, so you can kind of get the idea. I've got lots of forces over here. My secondary force at this point is this army over here. This guy, um, not quite so dready. Not quite so dready whatsoever. But, um, you know, we can night fight with both of them because they both have night fighting, which is nice. Uh, we'll see if that becomes helpful to us at all. I feel like most of these lads that we face do have a uh, night fighter. I seem to remember a lot of them do anyway. The only thing about the Mongols is these early armies almost tease you. Because they don't have any experience. They don't have the dread or the chivalry. Or they're always dread actually in this case. So the first two that turn up aren't like that. But the rest of the armies are something like six experience and the leaders will have like nine dread and talk about being too busy torturing people to actually come and talk. So, um, yes, we are neutral currently, but I feel like they have just invaded. Um, sorry you didn't get the mini clip. Uh, I kind of missed that off because I was pressing, smashing end turn in between clicking on items. And obviously it's only got to turn 67, 68 and they arrived. Um, but no worries, no worries. I didn't actually record it, but my microphone had been moved from something I was doing. I don't know. Anyway... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little look around and see what else I had to send 
over. Do I have anything over here? I still have a church over here. Demolish the church. Did I, did I just destroy the Hagia Sophia? I might have just destroyed the Hagia Sophia, actually. Oh, well, it's gone. It's gone now. Are there other places with churches still? Have we have we not destroyed the churches? Has Rome, Rome still got a church? No, 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 no. No, I've just solved, solved years of problems there. Just get rid of that church. We'll leave the heretics there. In fact, I think I sent all the heretics to yes, <laughs> come over to Rome. Let's yes, continue with that job. Yeah, send the heretics to Rome. Perfect. That is just what we want to do. There is actually a Papal States Army here, but uh, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. They're kind of stuck there. There's no Pope. Uh, there's no more Catholic factions to get the Pope from. So this this kind of spawned itself, but um, there's not much I can do. They just keep on respawning. I've already killed them off before. Oh, I don't know. They're a strange mistress. Right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and smash some of these churches down because apparently a lot of places still have churches that I didn't realise about. I suspect there's lots in northern Italy, is there? So I'm just taking that. Yeah, all these churches. No, 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 no. Right, this is going to be loud, so... <laughs> Smashity smash. You know, we support we support the anarchy here, and we support, you know, the right way of doing things, which is heresy. And by heresy, what I mean is, it's fine to believe what you like. Just, just <laughs> apparently not Christianity because I'm knocking down all the churches. Oh well, it's fine. I just don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, oppress them. I want them to be able to believe what they want. Church of Paris. That's been there a long time. Right. I'm just going to smash up some churches and I'll be back with you when we've ended turn and we see what the Mongols' first move is. Okay, into the next turn and they haven't really gone that far. They've just crept slightly in. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, they're down here already. That's a problem. It's a bit of a problem. Right, these lads are just going to block up this bridge, but they are missing the long-range missiles currently. So let's just hope they bumble around a little bit while we organise ourselves, because we are going to have to organise ourselves nice and quick. No! It has been declared that this lady is too old... Too old! I don't turn down any of the, uh... I don't turn down anyone on this particular campaign. I just take what I can get. Someone someone wasn't very busy trying to find herself. Trying to find her, man. There we are. Okay, uh, alright, we could do with upgrading that. It might one day become part of, uh, the, the war if it's going really badly. Um, Mosul. Now, Mosul's one that I do need. I need the armourer. Otherwise, Ragusa... Yeah... Not particularly useful to us right now. Kiev, I need to keep building because of the uh, following invasion. That will come. Timurid should come up north next time for him. Um, and otherwise, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, at this point, they have carried on marching past us. So, Thudberg is now not looking like he's going to be killed momentarily. Um, I do want to send him into battle, but maybe not right this moment. So, As myself and will. I think I've got this lined up, ready for the attack now. Declare war yes, on them. Sir, they have invaded. So, right. Um, the problem is, when you send these guys in, they just kill themselves, don't they? Um, right, what I would like to do is... I'm going to take this guy out and actually... I'm going to use a night battle. A night battle would be lovely. Let's just take out this main force and we'll pick these guys up later. Let's not complicate it by bringing in all the extra reinforcements. Let's just head in and smash this lot here. One to one. They haven't got experience, neither do I. I've got two generals. I reckon I can take out their general with my two. Mine's pretty good command, so um, we're not in a bad position here. Let's head in to our first battle with the Mongol Khan. Not one of us shall fail to Right, if you think the lighting looks a bit weird, it's because I've turned up the brightness because I can't see a thing! It's the only issue with the night battle. This game's a little bit darker than Rome, so, um, yeah. But we do have a good position over here. Nice little hill on the side of this cliff, which means that we will be taking up a nice defensive position over here. Spear at the front, archers in behind. We will get some more shots in when we get the opportunity, so we'll let them get in their position because... They've pretty much surrounded this ground to us. Game seems to think that it's fairly even, but the bar is definitely bigger for them. So we will see about that. Right, I'm going to send in my 
sort of main charging cav in towards their infantry. I'd much rather the archers are shooting in towards something else. Oh, well, they're, ma they're making a move now. Can we get our archers off fire? Because I'm not actually interested in fire today. There we go. Okay, this is interesting. Their formation... Pff, I don't know how they're lining this up, to be honest. It's very bizarre. Let's just line these lads up. Get ourselves into a position. Oh, there's a lot of arrows coming in at us. Right, smash into those archers. Okay, right. Early charging. Was a bit of disruption. There's way too much fire coming onto my general over here right now. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking that at all. Right. No, no, get out of there, guys. There's way too much arrow fire. Right, what I would like is to draw in their infantry or someone just to come and attack. Right, the missiles, can you aim at the general? See if we can maybe pull him into battle because he won't really... Yeah, we can take him out. Let's go and take him out. Right, cavalry are safely back into a position now. We've got the high ground, so as we're doing a lot more to them than they are to us, which is what we want to see. Long infantry obviously have bows themselves, but once they're shooting up the hill, they won't be doing an awful lot to us. That is ideal. Right now they're just reforming actually, which kind of suits me. I'm right, I'm just gonna send my men into them at this point. I'm getting fed up of all the nonsense. So these lads can just head straight. In fact, these guys just need to hang back because they're the ones I definitely want them to take out the general. You two lads come over here. Um, you bring yourself over towards the heavy lances too. Honestly, I'm done with this nonsense now. Let's just start heading in there. Let's get these cav up in this kind of a position and throwing your javelins in. Can we have all the cav apart from those two up in a position over here? And just send the infantry barreling in at them now. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay, start heading in. All of you, start heading in. Tell Militia, you get into them. Let's get some attacks in from various positions. Can you please get into the bodyguard? Javelin Cav, throw your javelins into the general over there. Right, that will do me. General, get yourself in. Throw yourself into those lancers. In this position over here. Yep, all of these guys have just smashed straight through them. They are melting in front of us. This is good. Those guys didn't melt though. That's less good. Get rid of those Mongol infantry, you two. Tamilisha, come and assist. That should be all right over there. Now, these guys got themselves isolated. Aha! We got him! There we go! Good! That was actually my general, I think. I don't know. It was someone. Let's just say it was. The general's done the job, even though he's apparently all the way over there. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. These lads are all going to swing around at this point. That's fine. We've got them. Yeah, they are. They are just melted at this point. Okay. Desert Cav. All of you in towards that general unit as well. We need to get him routing. The general might be dead, but we still need to get the route on. Right, you. Yeah, that's fine. My general is around. Bring yourself up here, mate. That's fine. A bit of fierceness in battle would be great, but I think we are pretty much clearing them off at this point. Who is not routing those infantry? General, go and catch up with them. That would be perfect. Can you go and shut the door on those lancers? Can my Turkomans come and just block off the archers being hit by those lads? Because I really don't want them to get slaughtered. But otherwise, I think we're just mopping them up. I think those two units over there are the only ones that aren't fleeing. So there we are. It's a good first engagement. Now, there's a few who have rallied over here. That's all right. We'll go and deal with them. Right, all of these guys over here. 
just deal with them. I don't mind the archers going themselves either. It really isn't a problem. Okay, it turns out there's still quite a lot of horse archer power over here, which is slightly annoying. Could cause some problems for the general. Just swing out to that side, mate. You don't need to get slaughtered. Okay, right. The general is over there. This isn't quite as done as I thought it was. Um, probably because it's hard to tell in the bloody, bloody rain. Not the rain, just the dark. It's just dark. It's not rain, Thomas. It's dark. There's difference between the two. Okay. Good. Right, there's a few more lads under attack. Can we get all my cav over here? I feel like we need some urgent support. Um, these lads have been chasing, chasing off. Chasened! They've been chasing off. Well, they've been chasing to some extent. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Right, the general is properly chopping down at people. He's doing some good work. Those guys are routing. I don't know what's happening, it's too dark. Even when I turn the brightness up, it's just weird. Right, they are also fleeing. Who isn't fleeing around here? Just some more horse archers, and I'm kind of largely out of arrows. It's a slight problem. Uh, let's just mop up those lads it's over there. To praise the day before sunset, but our it's not even sunrise yet, mate. It's not even sunrise. See, not even the sun has not even arisen on this day yet. Right, all cav, descend on those little somethings. But it's just these guys, full stop. So, everybody. Turns out horse archers are really annoying because I have a load of them over here to deal with as well. Uh, they just don't die, these lads. Just keep running forever. Some of these lads, but I need to actually trap them properly. Right, this actually gonna have to do a proper bit of manual trapping on these lads. There we go. Now these lads will the melt. Is in our favor. That's if what I want to see. Right, the last few, few the last few horse archers are fleeing at this point. Just as well, because we run out of arrows and we can't do anything about them. The no, I'm the done. I'm done. Uh, right. A great it was a pretty Worthy good victory, but um, yeah, it was a pretty good victory, but it was yeah a lot of a lot of work. General did well. General did quite well, to be fair. A superb ambush location. Yes, proven commander. Would have liked something like Brave because he really threw himself in a lot of arrows there. Plus two to my hit points, marks of war. Okay, well that is good. So that's not too shabby. He's up to eight now. It's nice that on Medieval 2 they actually put the uh, the dots here because you can never actually count um, if it was nine or ten on Raim. It's you, know, you just couldn't tell by looking at it. But there we are. Right, there are still some Mongols here. <laughs> ah, they're so polite, aren't they, the Mongolians? They're just lovely. Okay, there's a few stragglers over there. <clears throat> I need to make sure I don't use up two of my arrows this time. We're going to use the other force. And we'll clear off those lads. Fine, we'll use the... No, they can't get there. Brilliant. Just brilliant. No, 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 no. Cancel that. Right. You head down this way. We need more men in the south. Head towards the Mosul Bridge. Uh, the Mesut Ozil Bridge right there for you. That would be lovely. Okay, we had a bit of damage there. Um, yeah, quite a bit to our cav. Mosul, remind me, are you Turkomans here? You are indeed. We're going to need some more archers units, aren't we? Yes, we've got the Byzantine cav over here. That's fine. Um... Okay, well this force might as well head south as well. We just need we just need these lads to mop up at this point, don't we? 
There are some Turkish archers over here, which obviously we want to bring into our armies. Um, oh yeah, we've got tons and tons of these lads. We've got that model army. The model army that took England, I believe. Or at least took London, I think. London and Kent. And then we got the Boyars. The Boyar Sons from the north. We haven't really seen these yet, but there's a load of them, obviously, that were stationed up towards Kiev and Sarkel and Bolga. Didn't actually have a huge amount of them, but I had some anyway. With Thodberg's army pretty much complete. Yes. Just a few Byzantine cavalry to join. We've pretty much got these As armies in the position we want them to. Let's send some of these Byzantine lads into these armies as they come down the mountains. I hope they're not going to smash into us here. We're kind of lacking in infantry, but unfortunately can't get any more there. So a couple more, which are just on the edge of the battlefield, should they attack me on this bridge. But in fairness, I do have the Pavis crossbowmen who can do a job defending it if we need to. But I have a lot of firepower, long-range missiles to attack them with if I need to. So let's end our turn. Isn't quite what I expected. Okay, they're continuing past me actually. Interesting, interesting. They're the tough ones and they're sticking together. Uh, don't know what that noise was for. End of turn report. We have the second best finances behind the Mongols, whatever. Storm. Of course, there was a storm. Well, at least it wasn't where I landed my Noble armies. Noble one. <laughs> okay, um. We need to get some armies to block up certain positions, so yes. we'll just move these guys to this bridge for now. Oh, the heretics! Oh, perfect! You've all landed in Jerusalem. That's where I'm sending all my heretics. Ah, oh, lovely. Jerusalem and Rome will be full of it. How 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 hereticky is it? Fifty percent hereticky. There we go. The heretics do do what they want, by the way. They just wander off. Um, if you don't use up their movement points, they just do what they want. So they will kind of self-manage. But then um, I've been overriding it by. Send them away over here. We're going to slowly turn their own world around. Let's go under the cloud. Through the cloud. Okay. <laughs> it's an odd animation, isn't it? Right, we have more and more armies turning up. So we can start to throw them together. Here's another one. Here's Isaac. And they are at Jerusalem. How lovely for them. Noble life edit. Oh, not Scaris. I think he was the old chap in Fodberg's army. Yeah, he was. Ah, oh, poor man. That's 62. I think he was that chap. I think he might have been that same Russian general that murdered us when we tried to outmaneuver them. Well, we succeeded in outmaneuvering them, but he, he killed us. He just wouldn't die, and he was amazing. He gained like four experience in that battle. Shame he didn't get to do anything over here, but there we are. Uh, Moses is fair in rule. Oh, there's a Moses. Not, not a dead Moses. Useful. With all the chivalry there to grow the cities. And your blah, 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 blah. Construction, we are sort of out of money because I spent too much on the troops at this point. So Damascus is obviously building up. Um, God knows what I even want anymore. It's probably not worth anything right now. We've got tons of troops coming in. Acre. Acre growing is useful because we very much... Oh, I can see that. All they're getting is Turkomans, the Turkish ones. It's not particularly useful. Get some roads. Aleppo... Uh, arch practice range because I got Turkish archers. Yeah, that's what I probably need in Acre as well. Um, scrap. Ah, oh, they haven't even got the boa yet. You know what? Scrap that. We'll go with the roads for now. The roads are more useful, and we already know about the storm. So up here, they haven't really moved at all. Just need to go and hunt them down. Right, this time we've got them. Good. Right, who was left in this army? A few horse archers. Okay, we'll leave that. Um, we got these guys, so... Yes, all worse. You guys can just head south. These lads will finish these guys off. This should be a simple enough little bout. They obviously are well down the hill, and our longbowmen have all the range in the world. So we can take those lads out nice and easily. That's what we want to see. Turkomans can obviously do a little bit of work as well. But I would prefer them not to get shot down too much. So let's go to loose, please, lads. 
Yeah, just that you're not on it, shot down. Same with you guys. On to loose formation. That would be just lovely. Can we get some of them shooting out at you? And actually, let's just send a couple generals in this direction. Okay, no. Uh, archers. I'm going to take... S mm, no, I'll leave skirmish mode on because we could still... We can still get through those gaps. Alright, archers. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, we should be fine running that way for the stakes. Yeah, we're fine running that way through. That's fine. No trouble there. Turkomans, turn off your... Yeah, turn off your skirmish mode. And we will simply head into these lads. We'll do the same with these generals down the hill at these guys. So long as we don't have any magical stake deaths. They're very much fleeing at the sight of me now, and to be honest, I don't really blame them, but I'm pretty sure we've got them <laughs> absolutely slaughtered. They've already withdrawn, they've already fled from one battle, so I don't think at this point there's much else for them to be doing, to be honest. So Turkomans, you can go finish those lads off. You lads, get yourselves over there. All the areas in the world on that unit. They are absolutely slaughtered. Can you just swing into those light lances? You might as well. No, we haven't caught the enemy <laughs> Which is annoying. Like the right, you the enemy come down here enemy. then, sir. They have lost half we'll their take men. him out this way instead. Out with the light lances then. Yeah, actually hit them. Thank you. No? No, yes. Yes. Yes is a word. These Turkomans are lining up still. Just just chase them down at this point, lads. Ah, that's great. We've managed to just about pin him with our lads. That's what I want to see. Right, horse archers are chucked down now, and this should all be over. It is indeed over. We'll see if there's any of them any of them left. There's just a few there. These final ones will just block off their escape, but they won't make it out either. Lovely. Right, that is one of those little forces down. Oxitan here with a terrible, terrible dread. <laughs> uh, has he got any worse with it? I don't know. He's got Gregarious and Spitz Venom, so he's on plus four morale to our troops in battle. He's got healthy... Yes, it's all coming together for this chap very nicely. We need to keep him on the front line of these battles. So he's going to have to swing towards Antioch because we're going to yes. want him to use their own dread against them. Because normally it's their armies who annoy you with the yes. dread. Right. Name thy enemy, Lord. Uh, to finish us off Just then, we will knock out course. these chaps. The new faction leader. And, yeah, we can kill this chap without too much problem, I think. And once we've done that, we will just assess where we are before next time. <laughs> we have a staggering position at the moment. They've won you down the side of this cliff, interestingly. But, yes, we've got that. I don't. God knows why they built that down there and not on this hill or something. It's a much better position, Nance, but there we go. Um, yes. Uh, can we get around? No, we can't. So, looks like... We will have to come around this side of this cliff. That works for me. Um, I actually only have a tiny bit of infantry anyway. I'm not going to be needing very much of them. So if I can ever get them onto position, then I will just get them onto this hill here. And after that, really, just line everyone up and get them shot. But one day, that might be in a few weeks when I actually manage to get these units down. All right, catch you then. All right, we've got a bit of an engagement with their... Well, they're heavy, heavy cav over here. Which, to be honest, they were supposed to come in with um, with some of the other lads. But uh, there we are. Not quite into position yet. The bodyguard is coming in, which is interesting. All infantry then. Slam into him. Get my other two cav into them. And all missiles. Can you please start shooting at that bodyguard? Apart from you lot, you're actually supposed to be doing that other thing I just told you. Yes, running away. That's the job. Yes, do the running away job. That would be lovely. You two lads. Lovely. That'll do. Somehow we've managed to be down the hill from them. God knows how that happened. Where are you, General? Come and join the... Ah! 
Ridiculous. Well, we are shooting straight into that general down there, so that should be lovely. Turkomans. Right, can we get... Ah! Heavy lances into theirs, please. Come down the hill into them. God knows what all our archers are doing at this point. Excellent. Showering people with the arrows. The enemy king. Oh, oh, there we go. He's gone. Another faction leader down. Another Khan dead. Marvellous. They are now all running away, as they probably should be doing. Uh, we'll just shoot all at like one unit at a time and just slaughter them all. Let's just charge down their infantry. These two lads are taking on those heavy cav. That's very much what I want to be seeing. Lovely, lovely work. Right, all missiles shoot the same thing. We have so many archers. All these Turkish archers and Armenian archers just beautiful. These guys are just going to get... You can just... <laughs> it, it is It is like arrows blotting out the sun. It truly Only is magnificent. The enemy force ah, so good. You lads, head into them. You lads. Only half? Where are the rest of them? God knows. In fact, yeah, it's done. It's done. Missiles, please stop. Apart from the cav, the cav you can carry on. Go and chop down those heavy lance chaps. And everyone else just finished the job. Honestly, it's a lovely job. It's a nice little battle map, though. Got the cool little mini castle feature here, this cool cliff. Um, the classic problem we get on this, we get that lovely high ground, and those archers pretend they can shoot, but they can't, which is a bit sad. There we are. Lovely set of cavalry here doing all the killing. These lads did some good chopping down. Um, General's still over here. Who did I send after? Oh, they've left the map. Okay, doesn't matter. Ah, it's a bit of a backdrop, isn't it? Wow, imagine sitting here with a cup of tea. Ah, it's a nice life, isn't it? In the Caucasus Mountains. A few palm trees. Just lovely. A few very speckled, slightly dodgily pixelated palm trees. My graphic settings are on. I feel like that's not quite right. Oh well. Right. Catch you back on the campaign map. And down goes that Mongol force. Lovely. Right, the Caucasus are now free of the Mongol invaders. That's lovely. He's got a bit of extra loyalty. Don't care about that. No one cares about that. Um, he doesn't really get anything for that. Did you get anything to do being brave, perhaps, do you do? No. <clears throat> of course not, of course not. Okay, so, situation is now this. I can't remember if they get... I think they, there is like another two armies that will spawn at some point. Um, yeah, he's just setting out watchtowers. I've got the same up in the north, you can see here. Uh, this chap's just doing some tower dropping as well. Yes. We will do that. I like to see time. around the map, people. I think that's fair to say. Make yeah, so um, we, we have these three at the moment. We want to make sure we... What would be that's great is if we can wheel. pick one off by itself. We do not want to face them Struggle together. If you like. Yes. I will take your lungs and women regardless. Yeah, yeah they're just orbit. lovely, aren't they? As now... Da, 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 da. You lads, course, get back over there. Now, Sultan. we probably need some of these generals. Yeah, you see, you've got some good work. You two I lads head in that direction design. because we're going to need some Come troops here, sir, over towards Odessa. I need two dinar, or two florins even. It's ridiculous. I need some more infantry. Order. Here is some infantry, but I guess Come these lads probably need to Sultan. stay here in Damascus, Order. don't they? could probably do with them, so... Oh, that's really... Why did you put that at the back? Fine, we'll put the spearmen after them. Fine. So, we've got a few lads in Damascus. That was one of the small forces that just landed. Alright then, well, next time, next time, we're going to see what we can do about these lads. We have a load of armies about to land. We have a force here, we have a force here, we have two here. They're all beginning to appear in this region. Um... So we've got plenty of opportunities to kill these chaps. Um, there will be a couple more armies. I'm pretty sure it's seven, not just five, because we had five pop up so far. I can't remember the exact time when they turn up. Either way, we're going to leave this force back in Baghdad. Um, we're going to leave Name not that enemy. force. We're going to leave some of these Name forces back here. In fact, we've got all these follow-up. We've got three follow-up forces over here. 
so we'll make sure that we are well defended. But otherwise now it's just the new forces to go and station themselves in Antioch, Aleppo, Damascus and Odessa. We'll keep Mosul stopped as well. Honestly, I don't need to recruit any more troops around here. The main, my main problem is infantry. They, they struggle to crack into these cities and the castles and the infantry is how you stop it and I don't have a lot of infantry. So that's the one thing I'm going to have to work on. So we'll have a think about that. There are definitely some good spearmen from Europe coming across. And these guys are definitely pretty solid units anyway. So not spectacular, but they can certainly do a job. Um, and that's what you need to do when you're holding these castles. But annoyingly, the Mongols tend to just go straight for their target, which is probably this. Once that's built, we'll get the ballista towers. Yeah, get the ballista towers ready for their arrival. Right, I will leave you then. I'm sorry this is to know this and I've been playing Medieval 2 Total Wars Rebel Campaign. Thank you and good night. They are just throwing themselves to their deaths. Woohoo! Chunky, chunky, chunky death. Oh, that wasn't a very good charge. Oh, <laughs> we're flying! There is no one near beside him. Yeah, axe in the head! Axe in the head. Yeah, beautiful.